Right, Katie, thank you. Happening today, tying up legal loose ends 10 days before a Westchester man goes back on trial for a death penalty case. This trial has been years in the making after the shooting back in 2019. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes live outside the courthouse in Hamilton with the latest on the state's case against Gurpreet Singh. Todd. Yeah, Kelly and Megan, good morning to you both. You know, barring any surprises, a hearing in this afternoon will mark the end of the pre-trial phase ahead of Gurpreet Singh's retrial. Police say the 41-year-old killed his wife, her aunt, and two in-laws at the family's apartment in Westchester back in 2019. Singh's capital murder trial, the first version, if you will, got underway a year and a half ago. Prosecutors at the time cited money woes and an extramarital affair as two reasons why Singh was the prime suspect. His defense team argued there were other suspects that investigators failed to look into. That courtroom showdown ended with a mistrial because the jury was not able to reach a unanimous verdict. Eleven jurors wanted to convict Singh. One juror was in favor of an acquittal. At 1.30 this afternoon, Singh is due back here in court for a final motions hearing. After that, he's set to be tried again one week from Monday. That'll be on April 29th. But instead of facing a jury this go-round, it's expected that Singh will make his case before a three-judge panel. And, of course, we'll have it all covered for you. Reporting live this morning here in Hamilton, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.